Hi guys, it's Dr. Pete here. I'm a workplace psychologist and project director for high performance schools. And our mission here is of course to build places where both staff and students can flourish. You know, a big part of our work is in building collective teacher efficacy, which the research would suggest is the single biggest predictor of student achievement. Now, collective teacher efficacy is, of course, the collective belief of teachers in their ability to positively impact upon student learning. And famous social psychologist Albert Bandura, kind of like the godfather of collective teacher efficacy, said there's four factors that make up collective efficacy. Master experience, social persuasion, vicarious experience, and effective states. The evidence behind collective efficacy and student outcomes, look, it's pretty compelling. You can see on the screen some data where team A has higher collective efficacy and have higher student outcomes. And team B, lower collective efficacy and lower student outcomes. And given these findings, the focus therefore needs to be on teaching teams and the collective efficacy they generate. When we think about high performance teaching teams, one of the first things we look at is their team activity cycle. You can see on the screen a typical teaching team activity cycle. The first key activity is teaching team meetings. And what you can see there, of course, is a particular toolkit with update tools and agendas. Second activity to profile are team huddles. That's those remote or face-to-face -face get togethers around the team's data wall. The third area is professional development. Again, be it face-to-face -face or remote in the current time. Buddy check-ins, another part of activity. When do we one-on-one -on -one check in? Be that virtual or face-to-face. -face. And finally, our team pulse. The weekly team pulse, the monthly scorecard discussion. Let's unpack that now. Now the Team Pulse system is one of the simplest, easiest parts of the high performance teaching team activity cycle and also one of the most powerful. If we see on the screen now, it's effectively three components. The first component being a weekly individual pulse check-in, a quick survey, 10 to 15 seconds, a monthly group or team scorecard, and then a debrief conversation where we plan forward actions. And this happens in a cycle continuously over the year. If we look at the first part of that puzzle, the weekly individual pulse check-in, this is a simple email uh, each person gets sent where they touch on or slide on four thermometers, asking four questions related to Bandura's four factors of CTE. It's confidential. Uh, your individual responses are never disclosed. Only group data or the team's level of data is organized and sent back. Part two then is the scorecard you get once a month. You can see one on the screen now. Uh, the group data is displayed and you can quickly see where the team's doing well as a collective and where there might be some improvement. The debrief protocol then also runs along a similar line. Uh, step one, we review our scorecard, identify the priority areas, i.e. the lowest area, in the example here, you can see we know our priority area. It's work, life, and well-being. We can see it here. In step two, we then click on the prompt strategies off the website, and we have a pairs or triads discussion. And here's three example things we could do as a team to improve work, life, and well-being. You can see, depending on which of the four factors, we've got a prompt card for each one. Check that out on the website. Uh, then we go to the final bit of the debrief where we commit to at least one positive action in the month ahead as a team to improve, in this example, our work life and well-being. The system obviously works by doing this regularly and repeatedly, and in doing so, we optimize or fine tune our team activity cycle as we deal with all the stressors and challenges of a busy teaching year. So there's a quick starter to get you going with the Team Pulse system. Check on the website to get deeper into the research and the process and all the ins and outs if you're interested. Uh, and remember, the reason you want to do this, of course, is to ensure that you're flourishing as staff so that you can maximise students flourishing too. Until next time, bye for now.